Let me start wine talk episode five. Uh, give me like five, ten minutes. I gotta get kid together real quick. Hold on one second. It ain't gonna work. Wait, hold on. This is why we can't start because you no, wanna no, play. Come here, come here. <laughs> we are gonna be talking it's about. The night. It's the night. I can sing too. Yeah, I know that, did y'all? Did you park? Hey, me and Kia are gonna be telling y'all. <laughs> I cannot. I need a new co host. Remember last week, how Kia, the shirt she had on, this is how it look now. They ain't gonna be able to tell No, because it looked normal size. Okay, so, today's topic is gonna be really funny for Kia. I'm gonna have uh, theme songs as we enter Wine Talk. This is Kia's theme song. Somebody sleeping So me and Kia will be talking about our like top curve moments that we've been curved, the craziest things we've ever done to a guy. So it should be interesting. Kia go first and tell her best curve moment. It's gonna be good, y'all. Gonna be good. Curve. What is your <laughs> worst curve moment? Like, when was that time like, damn, I just got curved? I've never been curved actually. That's why we. I to say, probably it's this guy that I liked in college, and he curved the fuck out of me several times, and I just like would not give up. But now, I mean, it's, it's been like four times, so now you kind of got. It hasn't been four times. Three, like two, three. It was a situation where like I was eyeing the zoo, interested in him, attractive, put myself out there. I was scheming. And this could probably fall under the craziest thing I've ever done, too, because I literally schemed for us to hang out and to get his attention. So I made up a story um, to get his attention, all that shit, sent him, like, DMs, all that. Still didn't work. All right, years later, and um, he's still curving me. <laughs> he's, he's not curving me, actually. I've moved on with my life. Hey, babe. <laughs> You fucking kidding me? <laughs> when I say bae, I mean Kia. It's pretty light compared to Kia's. Kia, what happened to you? I'm embarrassed. I, can't. I feel like Shanquee's not being real, but that's okay because I'm really enough for the both of us. So one time, I was really into this dude. Like, I was really trying to fuck with this dude, man. And then I texted him one time. So I wanted to come over. You know, I wanted to come over and chill. So I texted him and I was like, can I come over? Mind you, it was during the daytime and we really didn't do no shit like that. So I was already pinned myself out there on the limb. <laughs> what happened then? He texted me back. He said, that was cool. You know, I'm getting ready. Like, you know, and then he texted me like five minutes later and was like, oh, but. And he was just like, so, I mean, are we just hanging out? So I was like, yeah, we just hanging out. He was like, that's it. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Ever, like spent the night with a dude and you wake up the next day thinking y'all finna have the day together and he'd be like oh so what you doing today <laughs> oh i thought we were spending the day together but you know then you make up something real quick like oh you know gotta go run some errands for my mom probably go to work pick up a little extra shit like he said it's definitely a humbling experience because i mean there's always going to be some guy out there who's just not into you and that's okay whatever now, on to the craziest thing that I've ever done to a guy. Hmm. There are probably be a lot of crazy stuff, but the most memorable would be with my ex. Um, we hadn't talked in a few days. So I was like, okay, cool. Hmm. Pulled up at his house, 12, 1 o'clock. had my friend Tavelle with me. Pulled up at his house, and his ex-girlfriend's car was in the driveway. I'm like, oh, wow, okay. I sat in the car for a little while to really just think about what I was going to do, what I was going to say. He told me not to go knock on the door, but of course I did. This was like 2009, 2010. So like he still stayed at home with his mom. I ain't care. I'm knocking on the door. So his mom was like in the background yelling like, who is that? Who is that? And his little brother answered the door. 
<laughs> it's like, oh, he's not home. And I was like, don't lie. Staring at his brother, like trying to hold back tears. I'm like, you need to tell him to call me. You need to tell him to call me now. Long story short, I drove off. His brother called me that night. Was basically like, you should probably just move on. Some brother tell you or tell your girlfriend to leave you alone. That's a sign. Like the brother said it. So you gotta let him go, right? And then he finally called me like two days later. I was just like, oh, I heard you pulled up. You know, like what's up? Not your girlfriend. Queen story was popping up on a dude, seeing a dude girlfriend car there and basically losing her damn shit. But she put it together. She had it way better than me. <clears throat> so I called him. He was talking about how he was going over his mom's house that night and whatever. So I was like, all right, that's cool. But my intuition was telling me, girl, something ain't right. And so I, I told my friends, you know, I'm about to go over his house. Y'all need to come with me. So we dressed in all black and went over there. I can't my shirt. So we dressed in all black and we on our way there. And they hyping me the fuck up. They're like, man, what did this dude got a girl over there? What if he there? What if he lying? I can't work under these conditions. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, like, if we get over there and his car is the, is there, I'm, I'm going to be real sad. I'm going to be really upset. Yeah. The makings of Wine Talk Wednesday. So don't put me on y'all with shit until I am fly. You say what? Thank you. You heard. You heard. You mad? No, I ain't mad. No, you don't. You need to get it for us, bro. See? Come in, honey. Okay, okay. Look, we stopped by Wine Talk because I still live. What did you just say, Becky? That's some elementary shit y'all doing. <laughs> <laughs> When we got there, we, we hop out the car. We all in this man bushes. I got my ear to his, win his window in his bedroom trying to see if I hear a woman. They're like, dang, you hear something? I ain't hear nothing. <laughs> I can't believe I just told y'all that. But yeah, then we left. I mean, like, I called him and he said he was at his mama house, so he was still lying. <coughs> I'm all right. I know we love when y'all send us video and content so we're gonna share mila's craziest story she just sent it to so mila was talking to a guy who was talking to another girl and she knew that girl the girl posted a snapchat video and mila googled the meme to find out what a girl X made me so damn mad and he knew he was pissing me out i mean i say i called that man about 36 to 40 times one of the craziest things that ever happened to me was my friend came over to see me at my house or whatever. Cool. Tired, so I told my dude, like, hey, can you let her out? Like, move my car for me. This man pulled off in my car and was gone for, like, hours. Then thinking to myself, like, damn, I just told him to move the car out the driveway. Like, mind you, he, he turned his cell phone off, so I couldn't find him. So he was just gone in my car. I'm going to let somebody move my shit. That's all I got to say. I'll move it myself. I'm good. Thank you. Dude, I was sitting on my couch crying. I, I couldn't tell my mama because I'm just like, oh, you know what? Like when he come home, pack your shit, it's time to go. No. So he got back and he was just real cool about it. He was just like, what's wrong? I was like, you left in my car. He was just like, I came right back. Right. Time I was talking to this dude and we were getting pretty close and he went through my phone. Right. That's a no no because we weren't together. So I was still texting other guys. Mind you, the stuff I was texting was nothing too crazy. It was nothing X-rated. It was just other guys. And he saw my first love name in there because we had text about some music or something. I was in a bathroom, so I walked back in a room. And when I say he took my phone and threw it so hard against the wall, so hard, like by my head, not right by my head, but I was being dramatic. I was like, damn, this shit was right there, but it was like over there. But he like it shattered my phone. I'm just like, what in the world is going on? It's like, what's what's wrong with you, bro? Like, are you good? And he's like, he going off, he going off whole time. I'm pinning on my clothes. I'm about to grab my keys and my shattered phone, baby. And I jetted. I got out of there. I mean, he got me a new phone. He he apologized and I forgave him. I don't hold no grudges, but that was really weird. It was a red flag. We'll have to wrap this topic up because literally we could probably, I could definitely go on for days. For Kia days. got stories too, but we'll we'll spare y'all.
But of course, we thank you guys for watching Wine Talk Wednesdays. And we just want to let y'all know, like, we're human too. Our 20s full of changes. We go through things just like everybody else. Um, I I had to be careful what I said because some certain people watch my snap. So, but whatever. It's cool. No big. To the dude that curved me and the dude that drove off in my car. <laughs> it's all good. I ain't mad no more. Some of y'all's craziest moments, curved moments, and maybe we could feature it next week. Oh, oh, oh. Say was we thank you guys for watching our snaps, and we'll see y'all next Wednesday. Of course, always send us your topics and anything you want us to talk about. Bye. This your girl Roxy, and this your boy. <laughs> Thanks for watching 106. Jay, Jay. Rocky, the number one video is Beyonce. Sorry. It is the wines that they serve at Olive Garden. Um, they sponsored this Snapchat, JK. But no, for real, this wine is real good. Y'all should try it. It's at Publix.